Yes, as Adam said, so he gave me a task to build out a workflow that will simply, when a ticket is created in Autotask, it will gather the contact record that's or yeah that's associated with that ticket. If that contact record has a configuration item, it's going to associate that configuration item with the ticket automatically. So first things first, we just gather some variables. So we are just taking things like grabbing the contact record from the webhook that's coming in, the ticket ID, the company ID, and the config ID. The reason we're gathering the config ID is if someone has manually put the configuration item on the on the ticket, we don't want to start messing around with what they've done. So that's I don't move the note. So that's why when we then get this check existing config, if it has an existing config, it's just going to jump straight to end. Otherwise, we're actually going to do some some legwork here. So if it hasn't got a configuration item, but it does have a contact, it's going to query Autotask to say, hey, give me a list for all the configuration items for this contact. Um, so that's using just the generic API query. We are then checking that that contact actually has any configuration items. Again, if they don't, it's then going to just jump straight to end because there's nothing we can do. Whereas if there is, we're then going to have to do some transforming because we want to make sure that, OK, well, theoretically that contact could have multiple configuration items there's a bit there's some additional work that could be done around this essentially we're taking uh, i'll just explain that very simply because that's probably the most convoluted uh, ginger ever again i've only been here a week so do excuse the ginger there um but essentially it's saying right give me all the configuration items for that contact give me the one with the highest ID in the in the database, because that's essentially the latest, the newest. So it's going to pick pick that, and then it's going to update that ticket based on uh, or, or associate that configuration item with the ticket. Now, earlier, um, earlier in the day, Aaron said, you don't have to do live demos, but trial by fire, I'm going to run a live demo. So I've got this ticket, Blue Sky Group, and we're right, there's no configuration item. Just hit save. Ready. Got a new execution coming in. And it succeeded. So if I refresh the ticket, should have workstation appear. Oh, boom. So there we go. Amazing. Awesome. That's great. How long did it take you? figure out a while. Yeah. It was it was the, the main task by Adam was try and do it on your own. There were a few things that I had to ask questions of, but that was just me not understanding the Roost platform again. I've only been here a week. So um that was just stumbling blocks initially. But yeah, I mean there was only one or two questions I had to ask. The rest I just purely relied on the documentation um and yeah it probably took me what probably about a day in total of really really cracking at it um there's been a bit of extra work around it in terms of things like trying to get uh, uh so we've got this if i bring out the state so we've got this automation log so you can see sort of how it's getting on throughout the whole run. Um, so that was a bit more than that was on top of the day. But in terms of actually doing the, the legwork, all this bit, and working out which API endpoints, API endpoints to hit, yeah, I'd say I'd say about a day. Hey, uh, great. A, uh, Adam and James, um, everyone says create it up. Yep, that's awesome. That's uh, that's what I expected. Um, so that's really cool. So James has already been. Uh, we've discussed the next bit of the plan, which is to standify standardify this uh, based on our internal rules. Look, it's not a word. Just go with it, James. Um, but uh, yeah, so we'll make it agnostic. We'll make it work for ConnectWise, um, probably Halo and Kaseya as well. Um, and then go from there. 